Alicia is fidgeting in place. A sense of worry is overflowing her as her classmate has yet to return from the mirror. Oh, oh god, what did we say? Villain? S kidnapping? Oh, I hope we're okay. I Maybe I should go in. No, no, that won't help, that won't help. And as she grumbles in her own insecurity of what's happening, someone appears from the mirror. Oh shit, thank god! Oh! Oh! Hi, May. Uh... Hi! Hi, so sorry, wait a second, I... Oh! Uh, I've yeah, been yeah, in there for sure. like a day, whoa! Uh, okay. Hey, um... Mm. Wow, natural sunlight. Wait, not... No, natural fluorescent light. Yeah. I think I need to go outside. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, how are you? Hi, May. Uh, are you okay? Mostly. Uh, okay. Uh, I, Mel oh my god. You, you're close. We, are we burnt? Oh, um, yeah. Don't worry, I'm okay. Uh, it was just um, a big electric show, I guess. But we're fine. Yeah, uh, okay. my bad, um... Uh, okay, uh, uh, Is it only you two? Where are the others? Oh, they're, they're coming! They were right behind us! Oh, finally out of that place. <sighs> hey, Alicia. Uh, hi, Alessandro. <sighs> it's finally done. I feel like I need a nap for a hundred years or something now. Special delivery coming through. Creepy mirror villain. Wait, they were actually a villain? Wait, how much did you guys tell her? Um, like, adequately enough? Uh, I don't know why you're surprised. There's always a villain behind it. There's a villain in every mirror? Uh, I find that hard to believe, but... Oh my god, this is strange. Metaphorically, uh, May. Metaphorically. Maybe we were the villain. Or the friends we made along the way, or something. May, I think you need some fresh air. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I don't believe that you're making sense right now. I haven't seen actual sunlight in like 24 hours. I think I... Uh, <clears throat> you guys need me for something, or can I take a quick... I'll follow you. Don't worry. Just go, champ. You deserve some rest. Yeah. Thanks! She makes finger guns at them. And uh, sorry again about the um, light show. That's um, my bad. Uh, where's Home Run? Um, I don't know. He was right behind us. Home Run comes out with a few dangling bits of a mirror that he shakes off his baseball bat, stepping through the portal. Ah, uh, sorry. I mean, I just made sure that uh, those things weren't going to get in our way. Oh. I see. Okay then. Oh, oh my god, you... You look terrible. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. It just like, looks like you've been through a lot. Who, me? Nah, I'm fine. It was exciting. Uh, it's just that you look like Melora, covered in burns. This? Nah, I mean, it's cool. It's, uh, it wa it's what happens when you, you know, do some superhero work. Defeating bad guys, busting mirrors. It's cool. Okay, I think I'll just be going and turning off the connection between the mirror world and this mirror. I think Melora would like this back sooner rather than later. Okay, guys. So, are you going to turn him into one of the teachers? I uh, know, I mean, he's a... Uh... Hired mercenary. It's either like the police or the teachers. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I've. I think I had enough of this for today. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, can you handle the rest about? And he starts waving towards me or me. That. By yourself, or do you need some help? We got it. Cool. Have a good day. Let's talk a bit later. I think we need to wind down and just be done with this entire affair. And he turns around and starts moving away. Home run picks up his phone. 
So, should we call the police? We gotta contact someone. But remember what he said about people coming for him. Yeah, so what? What are you talking about? Well, probably a better thing to turn him over to people who can actually, you know, stop someone if somebody is coming for him. What? What? I mean, wait, are you saying that you're actually concerned about him being, you know, followed by the people that hired him to kidnap children at school? I mean, it's one thing to kick his ass, but it's another thing to leave him out to dry and potentially dying. I mean, yeah, sure, I, I guess. But what do you want to do? Because I just want to turn him in. I don't want to have him be our problem anymore. Yeah, so let's turn him in to uh, the Defenders of Earth. Well, do you have the number to the Defenders of Earth? I mean, May's mom probably wants to know uh, about the guy who kidnapped her. And she is connected with the Defenders of Earth. Mm, yeah, I guess. Let's go ask May what she thinks. <laughs> Wow, my mom sure got here fast! She was really nice. I mean, yeah, not to Rune Carver, but she was, um, mostly nice. I mean, to us, yes. Well, not being nice to Rune Carver is a plus sum in my side any time of day. Wait, what? May kind of stares at the robot. I hope you'll excuse my language, but she is what people would call a grade A bitch. Whoa! I know. I was a program of this language, but several students have used them, so I have incorporated them into my vocal library to better connect with the today's youth. So she has a bit of a potty mouth. Well, Rune is not prone to swearing. She's more prone to lash out in other kinds of ways. Well, I'm sure uh, Home Run would agree with that, right? Right? Agreeing that she's a bitch? Yeah. Home Run. Language? What? I wouldn't have said it if it wasn't true. And I guess Be Good did start it. Yes, and Home Run is completely correct. She has told me several times not to disturb her and leave her presence with my soulless husk. Okay, that's rude. That's really rude. As stated before, a grade A bitch. Well, at least the villain is gone. And we're all okay. I would say the opposite. Several of you have several degrees of burn marks upon your skin. Some of you have uh, scratches from what I would assume a very fine blades or glass shards as I pulled some fragments of them from inside your wounds. So no, none of you are completely okay. May, continue to sit by the window. You need UVs. Yes, sis? Ah, thank you. It's my thing now and I'm opening it. It is, as the kids say. Yeet. Very yeet. Now, I will be going through some medical journals and updating reports. I'm just going to say, kids, keep calm and don't do anything stupid. Or whatever you wish. I'm no officer. I can't stop you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I, uh, did I say sorry? I'm sorry. It's okay, May. We know you didn't do it on purpose. Right, you guys? Uh-huh. Yeah, of course. You spend most of the day inside the infirmary, and as the day comes to an end, home run, you're being called to the principal office. The school at the evening is much less cluttered and populated as in the day. There's an almost deafening silence all around you, and as you close into the office, that silence is interrupted by the loud voices of people speaking. You cannot, under any circumstance, Threaten someone like you did. And this is a student, a child, in our care. I wasn't gonna do it. I just wanted him to get out of my office. I was busy. A threat is a threat! Do not speak to me of threats, Barbara. Did you... Did you take out your anger with me? On a student? Of course not. But you're the reason I'm running out of time in the first place. Regardless, your threatening of a student is unacceptable. And you told him to leave the school? You what? I have made my position clear, Ostanis. I strongly disagree with his placement in the hero class. There are many better options, even 
in his classroom. It's not up for debate. We decided this long ago. What the hell, Martha? You're supposed to be training the next generation of superheroes. You need to believe in their potential. That's rich coming from you, Bob. First of all... She did what she had to do, Martha. Just like you did. I agree to disagree. Are we done here? I don't have time for this. First, you will apologize to the students. Fine. Send them in. Ah, I see you're already here. Come in, Homerun. We have some things to talk about. As you enter the office, you see the principal sitting down in his chair once again, as both Rune Carver is rising up from hers and Icon, the leader of the Protectors of Earth, the foremost superhero in the entire world, also does the same. What? Homerun. I believe this is the first time we meet in person. I am Icon. And she puts forth a hand towards you. Homerun hesitates for a moment and then extends his own hand to shake hers. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, hello. Um, ni nice to meet you. I, I was just the other day thinking about uh, you guys. Huh. Oh, really? I hope it's only good things then. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, we had like uh, the extent of a problem that we needed solving, and I was just contemplating the fact that I didn't have your guys' number to call. Hmm. That is a valid point. Ostanis. Yes? Can you make sure that the students, and especially the hero course, has easy access to contact the Protectors of Earth from this point on? It would be an easy task. I will ensure it by the morning. Thank you. And as uh, Icon turns once again towards you, you do kind of feel a strange air from her. She is quite imposing, even if she's not very much taller than you are. But there's something about her posture, her confidence and her entire personality that exudes the traits of both a leader and a driven person. Homerun, I am sorry for what has happened over these past days. I want you to know that your position in the class is valid and much appreciated. And she looks with a stink eye towards Runecarver. Amongst both the faculty and the protectors of Earth. Hey, thanks. She gives you a small smile, but you kind of get a hint of bittersweetness from it. Anytime, Homer. We believe that people like you are the future of superheroes. And we all believe and trust that you will perform great things from now on. Isn't that right, Rune Carver? Yes. Icon means every word she's saying right now. Icon gets kind of a frowning face upon her, but lets it go and take a step to the side. Right. Martha, do you have something to say to Homerun? <laughs> and Rune Carver takes a few steps towards Homerun. Homerun. My earlier assessments were not correct. You are a capable hero and what you did today was remarkable. You deserve to be in the class and I hope that your stay here on forward will be better. <clears throat> and I apologize for my behavior and the threat that I made. I did not mean it, but it was over the line nonetheless. Now, I have things to do. I hope you have a good day. And she makes her way out of the office. Omron does a sheepishly smirk under his mask. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I accept your apology. Uh, I mean, I wasn't scared at all. I mean, I know you don't really have the powers to do what you told me that you were going to do. You see her freeze up just before she leaves the room, and you hear her taking a deep breath and just leaves. <sighs> that was the best we could have hoped for. Well, I need to go. It was wonderful to see you in person, and I just wanted to know that whatever Rune Carver has said towards you was her own skewed opinion. The rest of us truly believe in you, Horan. That's why we recommended you in the first place. Don't let her discourage you. You are going to do great deeds in the future. Homerun reflects for a moment, and before he has a chance to answer her, his phone starts ringing. He quickly picks up his phone without even looking at it. Hello? Oh, hi guys. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still at school. Yeah, um, no, but I'm on, on my way. I just had to go into the principal's office. You know how it is. <laughs> No, no, but I'm coming around, yeah. Yeah, I will miss practice for a day. No, no, not at all. 
Okay, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, bye. And he closes down. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but to some extent, I'm actually kind of what Rune Carver said. I am just a guy with extraordinary abilities, and I'm just trying to do the best I can with those abilities while trying to be a a good person as well. Icon is looking at you with a bittersweet smile. You see the sadness inside of her, clearly on display, and the principal gives a strange smile before giving you a small nod. Icon gathers herself, looks you straight in the eye, and says, Well, we need heroes that are people too. It's easy to get caught up in the persona and leave the real you behind. I hope you manage to find the balance between the two. I hope so as well. <laughs> I bid you a good day. And Icon walks out of the office. Uh, yeah, sure. So if there was like uh, nothing else, I kind of need to get going. You're free to go home run. Just can you tell the others in your little friend group to come and see me tomorrow. We need to talk about some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. I'll, I'll, I'll hit them up. Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Bye.